What's going on everyone? It's Optech. Today we're going to be doing a review of the Asus Dual Fan OC Edition GTX 1070. I just did an unboxing of this yesterday. So today I want to show you what kind of FPS you can expect in a variety of games and also show you the charts as these games are running for the GPU usage, the temperatures that you can expect, and also the boost frequencies that this clock achieves while gaming. Well, enough of my blabbering on. Let's get right into some gaming. All right, guys, so we have Doom loaded up here and I have it on OpenGL 4.5 on Ultra. So you can see here the charts for the GPU clock, memory clock, GPU temperature, GPU usage, voltage. Then you can see right here on the far right hand side, GPU temperature, GPU speed, and the VRAM usage. And up here in the top right of this white display, we have the FPS and I love this overlay that you can set on Doom. Here we have also the CPU percentage usage. And I did a similar sequence on the GTX 970 and the Founders Edition GTX 1070 in a different video. They'll leave a link for it in the description box down below. This same game sequence so you can get an idea of the FPS comparison between this GPU and the Founders Edition and the GTX 970 if you'd like. So let's go ahead and show off that Doom Strength, lift this door up and blast away some more demons. Okay, well, he's a nice looking fella. Let's go ahead and give him a couple good shotgun rounds. He's nice and dead. So, FPS here, one, what is that, 140, 120. See, we're up to 76 degrees Celsius. So, I was gaming a little bit before, and so it takes a little bit of time to heat up to that 76 degrees Celsius, but it looks like that's as far as it can go. VRAM usage, 35%. So you can see having that more and more video buffer with the graphics card is becoming more and more necessary in 2016 with the 1070 having that eight gig frame buffer. But right now clock speeds, 1974, pretty impressive. Okay, so we have some Witcher 3 going here. Let me give you a quick look at the settings. We have everything on Ultra and we have Hairworks on. Hairworks AA on four and Hairworks preset on high. So layout is similar to how we just did Doom. So similar stat layout as before. CPU temps, CPU load, GPU temp, GPU load, RAM load, VRAM usage, GPU speed, and of course the same charts here on the right so you can see the clock speed. All right, so here we go. We see here starting out 67 FPS, 64 FPS. So you could definitely have that uh, 60 FPS lock if you would like. This is just at 1080p, although for 1440p, you could do a little extrapolation, probably around a third less FPS, given that you know you get a third more uh, pixel density. I won't comment too much on the stats. I'll just play a little bit and let you guys uh, follow along as I move through this beautiful open world with Gerald. Let me see, I think I see, no, it's just a peasant just talked to me. I wanted to see if I could kill some wolves or something, see if I can get this, uh, game going going on and we're still getting uh, pretty ridiculous uh, frames per second and clock speed right there is at 1974 and maxed out at uh, 212 megahertz and again which is really nice to see um, on a card like this going way over the uh, advertised boost uh, two gigahertz pretty impressive and i gotta say i'm pretty satisfied uh, with the results so far
thank you so much for watching this review of the Asus Dual Fan OC Edition GTX 1070. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to leave your comment down below if you have a comment. And as always, please be sure to smash that like button to help my channel grow. You guys are awesome. So what's next with this card? Hopefully some SLI, some 1440p benchmarks to come very soon. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, Ah uh, of Tech, well then be sure to get subscribed. This is John from Ah of Tech. Can't wait to catch you guys in the next video.